All right, YouTube. Today we have another donation deck list benefiting the Barrero Wrestling, which is right up here. Um, we're going to play some Rug Kiki Jiki. Give this a try here. Know that the decks from today's stream are all um, going to benefit the Barrero Brothers. Uh, after this, I'll be streaming some Stoneblade for the challenge, and all of my winnings will go towards that. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so... We're gonna get ready to play here. Get ready to rock and roll. So we wanna. I'm oh, actually. I'm in a kind of a I got kind of a cool little cube deck. I don't think it's that great, but it's like a mud deck that splashes like the Splinter Twin. Um, nope, wrong one. Not this one. So I'm here. Competitive modern. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing Legacy after this. Play Storm. Oh, nope, we don't want to be in this one either. I'm not really interested in playing Storm, to tell you the truth. That's just not really in my wheelhouse. It's just not in my wheel. I think it's a very good deck. But it just is not in my wheelhouse. All right. So, yeah, this is kind of like a bit of a mid-range deck that wants to kind of you know, get ahead with the Tarmogoyf, then kind of hide behind like Cryptic Command, maybe some tempo strategies, and if you gotta get bailed out, you have Deceiver and Kiki. So, hopefully, that does it for us. I played one of these decks recently and struggled quite a bit with it, but it was only blue-red, and we have birds, so like there's, you know, there's some mana acceleration, which is kind of cool. Forgot my coffee. But yeah, all donations today are going to... I will match them out of my Moto account. So if I have the resources on Moto, I will be selling the tickets and chests to Card Hoarder. And I will match as much as I can. That will count up to the... Um, whatever it is. Up into and including the Legacy Challenge today. Taking a while to to fire here. Usually, a modern league doesn't take quite this while, quite this long. But yeah, I think this is what I'm going to play later. I tried a Narset last night, and I did like it against five uh, against a uh, combo quite a bit. But I thought it was kind of like nonsense everywhere else. All right, I would like to play first. So I have a Lightning Bolt into a Tarmogoyf, and I'm on the play, but I have five lands. I'm going to keep. I'm on the play. If I was on the draw, I'd mulligan this, but if I'm playing against like a creature deck, then I'll be in pretty decent shape. We obviously have to draw out a little bit, but... There are hands that we keep this where we're just like dead in the water, turn like from the start, but... You know, maybe our opponent's playing Jund, something like that. Or they play a turn one Noble Hierarch, that'd be sweet. Just probably get a Steam Vents. Oh, Windswept Heat's good. Unless they play whatever it is, a Boggle Boy. Oh, bringing close. It looks like we're going to have a target for this. Looks like we had a target. So we're playing against Infect. Um, what are we going to get? There's an argument to letting this be because we can brick wall it with Tarmogoyf and bolting a, where the dumb card is, Blighted Agent. But that's probably a little too cute. So we're mostly a red deck, blue-red with a little bit of green. So I'm just going to get another Steam Vents, even though I have one in hand. We're going to make sure we're blue-redded up. You a double gut shot, my friend? Hmm. Are they actually thinking about like a double gut shot? No. 
And that's good on him. And I'm just going to play my forest, play Tarmal Wave. They're taking their time. How's it going, Archmage? All right, Vendillion Click is a nice draw. But we got our Goyf going. Yeah, my opponent must be double queuing. I hate it when people do this. So I'm not the world's fastest player, but like, you know, I'm not tanking and on a goif when I'm tapped out. I'm really excited for the Legacy Challenge later. Like, right now, Legacy is my favorite format, and I love playing Stoneblade. It's been a while since I've played a deck. Like, probably maybe Death Shadow like a year ago that I really like, like that I just enjoy playing. I'm going to play Stoneblade. I think, I, I genuinely think like Stoneblade is just the best deck. Yeah. Spell Sky is Dece. Yeah, Palace Jailers is stupid. I'm going to main deck two Palace Jailers today. All right, um, let's get in here with a chump check. I think I'm gonna draw a step, click my opponent, because it would make it would make sense for my opponent to have not played a threat in order to be in favor of. Okay, this is good on my opponent. In order to not play a threat, in order to like protect it behind the spell sky, and I really just want to get rid of a. Whatever it is. Yeah, Palace Jailer is just like unreasonable. You want to hit a Blighted Agent? Okay, take this Blighted Agent. Take this stop off. All right, well, we got Ink Moth going. Anything you hope new? I, I really don't know. The Serum Visions would be nice to get over the top of this. Though another Goyf is not terrible. I do think I'm just going to play another Tarmogoyf. Because I do have to get around this spell skite. And I don't think my opponent's gonna kill me next turn. I mean like they could, but I'm making them cast distortion strike, which will make things a little harder. But they're they 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 definitely have the ability to kill me over two turns. That's for sure. I don't think I honestly don't think anything that can be printed in Modern Horizons would fix the issues with Modern. Okay, so another Ink Moth is annoying because Modern just has like I could have actually gone Exarch Untap play Tarmogoyf, which probably would have been good. All right, so make him use the Distortion Strike. It just like, you just print cool fair cards in modern and it just makes the format faster. That's what, that's what Jace did. Jace literally did nothing except make the format faster, which is just annoying. All right, let's go fetch a steam vents. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cast more than one green spell or, or I guess we're going to get a breeding pool. It might make new archetypes. The problem is, though, is if you if you play these sweet, uh, I probably should just attack. I probably should have done that next last turn. I'll play this bird, and then I'll play. 
I might not even play the bird. The bird doesn't really do anything. I'm just gonna keep it in my hand. I'm gonna play a tap steam vent, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna see if I can finagle a little bit with this uh, um this ink moth here. It does. You are correct there. Missed that. Okay, so. I guess that I should do this right now before it becomes a creature because it makes them like either pay life or it makes them, um, it'll make them either pay life or it'll make them like reanimate in order to blossoming defense it, which just saves a mana. Well, there is no target yet. Yeah, you were right. I should have played the bird. For sure. All right, don't kill me. I only have groundswell plus blossoming defense. And my opponent is also dead on the crackback. Is that just enough though? This is two. So two is four. I'm just dead anyways, I believe. Yeah. It took me a second to count it up, but they do have the eight damage right there. So if my opponent goes for it, I am dead as a doorknob. And there's no reason not for them not to go for it. Round swell, okay. And that's eight. Yep. Well said. Okay. All right. So how do we want to board? I think we want to just bring in every single piece of interaction we have. Like, I don't want, I don't even want these Tarmogoyfs in my deck. Because, like, they just get brick walled by Spellskite. Like, Anger of the Gods is good. We should get some spoilers today, though. Hopefully, they build enough faith. Come on, with the VNR updates. I don't think they're gonna ban. They're not gonna ban anything before it. I just want everything in my deck to kill something. I want to turn it into this real shitty control deck. And I don't think I need these birds of paradise in the deck. Like, we'll just become like a blue red control deck. We could leave, like, the, the counter spells are not that great. Like, Remand's not that good, so we could leave, like, one Tarmogoyf. But, like, Tarmogoyf's just not that good against Infect, in my experience. I think I'm actually going to cry if some of them just unbanned. The more I play with that card, the more I actually think that it might be good for that card to stay on the ban list. Because, like... What Stoneforge Mystic does is it provides a distraction for decks. Like, how's it going, Teddy? Like, Stoneforge Mystic makes it seem like the game is about Stoneforge Mystic when it really isn't. And, like, everyone has to get rid of... Re I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to leave one Tarmogoyf in because I don't want Remand in my deck. Um, Tarmogoyf... Or Stoneforge Mystic makes the game seem like it's about Stoneforge Mystic when it really isn't which makes you expend a bunch of resources and then you get dumpstered by the next threat. There is no JIT and there is no TNN, but like, I would be concerned. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, it is, but like, our deck's just like, our deck's just a little slow. And like, we as we saw, like, I just wanna be a pile of removal against this deck. Um. I'm gonna get a steam vents. Just get all. I don't have blood moon in here, so because like when you used to play Jund, you used to just make your deck blood bright elves and dark confidants and side out your tarmogoyfs against. Uh, we don't want this one. We do want this. You just side out your goyfs against infect, and I just want to kind of do the same thing. You just want to interact.
Well, this is back before before the elf was banned. This is what you used to do. Back years ago. I haven't played Gen for years. So. And as we saw, like, the Tarmogoyf has to become interaction in order to win here. And it just gets brick walled anyways. By, like, Spellskite. Or if they, like, I don't know how thick they're going to be on Spellskites. But we're going to bolt this. And then I'm just going to play a tap land. So, like, what makes Stoneforge Mystic good is that in the decks that play Stoneforge Mystic, Stoneforge Mystic isn't, is a distraction. You're just this, like, control deck. I'm going to bolt snap. Oh, yeah, I'm going to snap bolt this thing now. And actually, I think I'm just going to anger the gods. And then I'm going to, well, no, I'm going to snap Serum Visions. I need to hit land drops. I would like to, maybe I can anger next turn. Um, and like Stoneforge Mystic creates like, yeah, like Stoneforge Mystic makes the game seem like it's about Stoneforge Mystic when it just isn't. And then you expend your resources, um, I, I gotta think about it. I gotta finish my thought here. All right. So I want both of these lands. Crypt Command is nice. Yeah, well, I used to play John. I played John years ago. I haven't played John recently. And, like, you just wanted to make your deck, like, removal spells and card advantage. Because, like, you could just kill them with anything. And it, that didn't really matter. All right, so we're going to we're gonna get the good goods here. Send in a message. And I could I could go for it. There's also that option. But like I could also just set up to go for it when my opponent has nothing. Cause like they could have like dismember. I don't think they saw Kiki Jiki. No, they saw they saw the Pestermite or the the Exarch in the first game. Oh, I talk about squires. Yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, Stoneforge Mystic is a distract is like the ultimate distraction. The game is not about Stoneforge Mystic, but it you have to respect it when the Stoneforge Mystic is just going to get another card which makes your brainstorms better from your Jaces, which then makes like your Vendillion click or your Snapcaster Mage game better because everyone, because if you don't respect Stoneforge Mystic, it'll kill you. But like, it's not about, um, yeah, that's what I did. The, like the game, the game like seems to be about any known stream these days. Yeah, they do. You have to be of average height to stream on Twitch. You bully. Lawrence, you're a bully. You're just so mean to me. But yeah, the more that I play with Stoneforge Mystic, the more that I think, like... It's just not a good play pattern because it puts the other person in such an awkward... um, In a real awkward place. Because, like... of how of, It just makes the game... I don't know how to describe it, but it just it just makes the game revolve around Stoneforge Mystic when your deck is like um set to abuse it. I go I want original. It's just what the I got it's a donation for the here and it was the person that plays it plays it all the time they said and you know they like the they like the ravine in there. Yeah, it creates a weird sud game, and like, it's and it and it's and it doesn't matter. Like, if you just go like, all right, I kill your Stoneforge Mystic. All right, well, I have another card. I have this looming effect of Batter Skull in the late game, and then if I ever get to brainstorm, that's dead. And I get to brainstorm another card away, and then like it just makes all your other threats better. Um. I'm gonna draw a step click 
because I don't really have a good answer to a creature at the moment. I don't know. They like it. Yeah, I mean that's like that's an also that's also an argument for it. All right. So you got yourself that. I I kind of want to just take this vines cuz then like we're going to be able to grudge this and the ink moth. Vines is annoying. So I don't want to play I don't want to play against vines. Yeah, we can get cute. Yeah, so now we're essentially going to try and go for it here. The vines also, does vines also stop this? It does, right? Because I think it does. I don't really want to attack. I'm not going to. But Legacy never claims to be a turn four format. Well, Modern claimed to be a turn four format five years ago. And they haven't done anything to do it since. Anything to refute that since, so. All right, so I know all, I know three out of the four of my opponent's cards. All right, that doesn't give trample. Okay. I'll just block. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna untap and get rid of I'm just gonna get rid of the spell skite. Grudge this, play land, do my thing. Uh, modern and sign is fair. I don't really care about that diversity aspect that every blue deck plays Snapcaster Mage. Like, every black deck plays Dotsie. So, like, the whole, like, this card would make it so every white deck played Stoneforge Mystic. Well, it's like, well, no shit. You know, like, that doesn't, that doesn't matter, in my opinion. All right, you're going to concede. You're going to make me do it. Nice. All right, look at that. Starting off on a good, on a good, uh, on a good foot. Thirty-five viewers already this morning. I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we're gonna play this. We're gonna stream the Legacy Challenge afterwards. Yeah, I knew you were smart, Lawrence. Now, if you could just understand what the average height of a human is, you'd be like right on top of it um we're gonna stream this then we're gonna stream the legacy challenge and in between we're gonna stream some cube which this is my this is my current deck <coughs> it's kind of cool like there's nothing special about it like I, I ended up like wanting to be this mud deck and then i just like kept taking splinter twin pieces and then like sort of backdoored into it. So it's like we're kinda like two different decks. So I turn four format. Seven years ago, two system and about format diversity. I don't think he's toxic. He just like 
has opinions. Three say Jason BB would two votes for Fortnite. Alright, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. Heater. I apologize for my pre question. Did you drop six shadow? Do you think it's unplayable? I think it's so I just haven't been playing a lot of modern recently. I do think Shadow's kind of in a rough spot. Um, I don't think we want this. I think I'm just gonna play a well, so what am I looking for? Because I wanna hold up Mana Leak next turn regardless. So like I kinda just wanna though I could hold Serum Visions for my third turn. I never bought it was too inconsistent to tell you the truth like like modern has so much like inconsistent like it's a format of inconsistency in my opinion you know like I, like modern like modern is a format of inconsistency because you have no way to smooth out your draws you either are all in or you're you're looking for the top of your deck to reward you like you're a hero like you're a, you're like a human slash, I'm trying to think, human slash um, hardened scales deck that's like, okay, how, what does my starting seven do? And then you kind of play off the top or you're like a deck like, or you're deck like Death Shadow that isn't, I'm just gonna Serum Visions on turn one. Um, that like has some cantrips, does some powerful things, and also disrupts your opponent. All right, so that's not bad. Um, I have to find a way on my curve to play this ravine. Oh, this ravine is awkward. I'm just gonna put this on the bottom. I'm gonna put this on top. I mean, Tron Dragon Phoenix kind of solves all the entire argument. Yeah, those. Th that's why those decks are great. You know what I mean? Like those decks are solid because. Um, that's why those are the best decks because they're both consistent and interact on a, on a weird on a weird uh, um, axis. So we draw a click. Um, playing Tarma White doesn't do anything for me, so I think I'm just gonna play Sulfur Falls and go to Manlikum. You're like waiting. Okay. It's 2014 again. <laughs> That's the theme of this stream, dude. All right. There's, I think there's merit to mana leaking this, but you can also like mana leak the top end next turn. I just don't know if we're going to have time to, like, you know, like, I don't know. I guess I don't know how much time I have, if that makes sense. Okay, well, we got a goal. So we need to draw two lands. One way to live, man, like, you the playoff, and I play Tarmo. Rut row. All right, we're doing this all. We're doing this all wrong. Then we're messing up six ways to Sunday this morning. Okay, so I actually no, I can't let them get the Micasins ladder. I could let them go get it, but then and then they just like attack the click here. Now this mana leak's not going to do anything. This game's not about damage. I'm going to have to finagle away here. <clears throat> I do need to hit me some land drops, though. Maybe I should have kept the ravine. Oh, there's the ravine. We have to hope that our opponent just like 
taps out to play a big threat that's not Ulamog. And then we just go like untap X arc draw land play Tiki Jiki. Wow, we might do it. That's wild. <clears throat> All right. Show me a good one off the top of my deck. Oh, nice. Good to see a B, B Rex BSN. Why would you wait? I don't know. You have to look on the the cardboard live. Are you talking wait like? Oh, you're you wouldn't wait with this. You can check out the sweet cardboard live app, which I hope I fixed. All right, draw land like a professional. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, we play 24. Man. That's sad. I don't think I can win the game anymore. <sighs> no longer can win. How do I win? Probably just click myself. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting up there. It's going to be tough to make the 500 for this month because, like, I've been super busy. I just don't even, like, see a pathway to doing it. I mean, I guess the pathway to doing this is just, like, getting this goif out of my hand and running hot. Because Tom Watch doesn't do anything. All right, well. You're going to pop the O-Stone Meow? So there's no way that I can finagle, like, wait on it. At least I don't think there's any way that I can do that. I basically like, need my opponent to just blow this O stone for no good reason. I need my opponent to just start like drooling and be like, I don't need this O stone. And then I have to just draw like hotter than the sun. I could have held one of those back, which probably would have been good because it's just going to die anyways. Would have saved me six life. a cool counter. Fate. Alright, Sylvan Scrying, sure. This is gonna get a blast zone probably. Not a blast zone or a sanctum Lugan. They already played their land, so they're not gonna like Ulamog chain me. I really like the Karn the Great Creator in this deck. It's kinda cool. It might just be like 
not what you should be doing in modern because like making your deck a little more mid rangey in modern is probably poor. I guess I could also just like work my way through this worm coil engine to extend the game. Like I can go double bolt, like trade. And then at least the board is somewhat clear. All right, so they're sacrificing now. Two. This is just like an egg. Yeah, I'll just yield through this turn. Another sanct. That looks like another ancient stirrings. Another O stone. All right, I don't think we're gonna play through the second O stone. That's just gonna be a little, especially the sanctum here. The writing is on the wall. Okay, so what do we have to bring in here? We have Dampening Sphere and Negate and Ancient Grudge. It's pretty much what we're looking at. Cards we do not want. Flame Slash is not good. I guess I can get rid of three, get rid of three bolts too. Like Remand Cycles, Mana Leak might hit a top end card. The Obstructionist is like a flyer, I guess, so that they can cycle. And I don't want to cut any of the combo here. Deck's light on the combo, which I don't think you can afford to do. I'm going to keep my birds just to be fast. I don't have a way to kill a land, so the Surgicals aren't that great. No, we don't have field. No fields. I think this deck's a little too light on the combo to reliably beat like these uninteractive decks here. Like we gave ourselves a chance to win. You know, if we'd have hit a land, we'd have been all sad, but we just we just didn't. Which you know, that's sometimes it's magic is what it comes down to. How's the Twitch chat's birth or days going today? How are y'all doing? This looks like a really tough matchup. You probably need more cards in the sideboard for Tron because it's it's one of the better decks. Like this, you're, you're going to run into this matchup often. So you probably need like Blood Moons or if you're going to play Surgical, you can play like a boatload of Molten Rains. Which like Molten Rains pretty good. Like Molten Rains better against Amulet Titan, I think, than Blood Moon because they're just ready for it. Though Surgical Extraction, like uh, Bounce Land's not great. Because they'll just find a way around that eventually. I'm going to grab some more coffee. Would you like to play first? Yes. All right, we get the ball. So we want all we want is lands. I probably should go get like a steam vents. I don't actually know what land I'm gonna fetch here. Probably just steam vents. I probably should just abandon the Tarmogoyf plan. 
because it's just not reliable and just plan on comboing. So I'm just going to go fetch and get a steam vent. Yeah, Bayloth is kind of a is kind of a card of the past. All right, I'm just going to keep this Kiki Jiki. Like we can't cast it remotely anytime soon. Yeah. Tyler Strider is a really good card. So I'm just going to slam this. And then I have to figure out, like... Another thing that would have been nice is, like, if, if this deck had more Kiki Jikis, I could have been more comfortable putting that on the bottom. Because they're eventually going to deal with this Dampening Sphere. Or Damping Sphere. And I'm going to want the combo when they do that. Like, th this isn't an end-all, be-all. It's just kind of a hiccup. Now we just have to hit lands. And I mean, the nice thing about this deck is that it's got 24 lands. If they're going to kill that sphere, they should do it right now. While I'm tapped out. They did not do that. Land. Alright. I'm going to play this one. If I get the opportunity to X-Arc, I don't want to fetch. Because I do, I do just want to like naturally hit my land drops. I might not even play it because we can't go like Kiki Jiki on four. kind of just want to remand this because then they can't they can't even if they play it again they can't crack it so it is kind of like time walk i don't want to play my x arc yet so they replay it can't cast it okay Could upkeep hit this green source, which I kind of like. Because by hitting the green source, they have to kill this right now. They can't see another draw, see another card to find like a nature's claim. So I think I'm just gonna hit the green source. If they go like kill into natty, like natural Tron, smoke this, then I'm in trouble. But I'll just give them one less look at a nature's claim. It's pretty marginal. I don't want to feel dumb if they go like, but I guess if they have natural Tron, like good on them. Well, Moto's tweaking out. I can't wait. I, I just got a I just got a job offer up in Vermont and I cannot wait until I move and can get like a better streaming setup. Cuz it's been just kicking me off a lot lately, which is just so frustrating. I don't know why it's been doing it, but it's just been like the last like couple months it's just like my computer is just like tweaked out. I was on them? That's weird. No. Okay. I'm going to be very, very excited. Okay. So they still don't have Natural Tron because they only have three mana. 
I wish we were much more excited to get like a real, you know, like a real computer. Like I just, I just kind of stream from this kind of rough setup. Right, I'm just gonna attack, hold up, snap remand. I can't snap remand because of damping sphere. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna X arc again. Oh, so my my wife went to Marist. Yeah, but, but like, I, like I don't have a very good setup. You know what I mean? Blast zone. All right, I think I'm still gonna just tap. I mean, I'm not gonna tap anything. Cause like, if this if shit hits the fan, I want to keep this another one of these around. Like, this is my setup here. Like, it's a, it's a decent laptop, but then it's like a monitor from 1998. So we, we've, we've got nothing special here. It would be nice to get a nice computer just to have one. Like, my wife plays Sims as well, and this computer, like, struggles to play Sims. So I could just tap down the blast, like tap this, but I guess they would just go two taps, still have dismember. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. All right, YOLO. Show me a dismember. Glad they didn't let me do it. They didn't make me do it. Uh, I don't think anything changes play draw, so let's submit. Uh, Dispel might be nice. Dispel is probably better than a Lightning Bolt, because if they do have Dismember, it's just going to be so... Or, or uh, they've seen whatever it is, the Damping Sphere, so they might board in some claims. Like, the one of Lightning Bolt is less impactful than the one of Dispel. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out today. Um... And then if I if I get a nicer computer, I can also stream Arena. Like I downloaded Arena yesterday. Finally played it. Played through my first like, whatever. We're taking deck list because we're because uh, of this Rafi. Um, for this month. Raising money for the Barrero brothers. They're two, um, they're two uh, wrestlers on the Canadian national wrestling team who I used to play magic with. And they're looking to, uh, Canada doesn't support wrestling as much, so. Arena is not trash though. Like are Arena is amazing. I do agree with your second, with your second uh, thing. Like there, there's like a, there's a hole for legacy and modern streaming. But Arena is amazing. Arena's fun to play. Like, Moto's not fun to play. Like, Moto is fun because magic is fun. I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, this is like already a mulligan. I'm just gonna mulligan again. Like, what? this isn't doing anything. My opponent kept seven. Like, we can't keep Cryptic Command as our only way to interact. All right. I mean, we have like some of the combo. I guess we'll put a ravine on top. Oh, if you want to say arena is trash, it's only like I don't necessarily think that's true. Like, yeah, to try to skip the mulligan. Yeah, that's legit. We're just gonna play our. Raging Boy. All right. Let's 
So we are defenseless. We are defenseless to the turn three Karn, unless we hit a Mana Leak or a Remand. All right, well, we're going to cast it. Raging Ravine plus Birds of Paradise seems a little awkward. But I, I do I do really like uh, I like standard a lot. I like legacy at the moment. It can be a little meme, -y, but I just I just have like a lot of fun. Yeah. I just have a lot of fun playing um, Stoneblade. I'm not gonna subject myself to this. Cause like they're just gonna go down, play another thing, like Yeah, because like even if they just we can't beat them destroying our lands because Kiki Jiki costs five. Like, we're never going to get to five mana. Which is the problem. Like, Legacy, Legacy's kind of like Mono, Karn, the creator decks. Oh, jeez. It's like, oh, Brew182, thank you very much for the subscription. Sorry about your ears, everybody. Um, Legacy can be, then it can be just kind of like Mono Planeswalkers, which is kind of annoying. But I just like playing with Palace Jailer. But yeah, this is a donation deck looking to support the Barrero Brothers. So if you want to see your deck played live, just donate. Uh, today I will match the donations from my uh, from my Magic Online account. I'll move some chests, donate to them as well. And we're going to donate. If we do well in the Legacy Challenge, we'll donate our winnings to that as well. So we're just looking to, looking to just hook them up. Hopefully we can get to that $500 by the end of the month. Rafi, I may I may be up in your neck of the woods before long. Up there in uh, New England. Yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna play in the Legacy Challenge. Like, I see some of the decks splash blue or splash red. I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, I, I, I used to play one and one, but this card just does so much that I just want to play two. Like, it, it's just like, I never feel bad drawing this card. Yep. Yep. I just got a... No, I just got a job offer in Vermont. So we're playing the salary game at the moment. Playing the benefits negotiation and such. So... So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I didn't. I played the Narset yesterday, and it was kind of underwhelming. I don't know. Like I feel like everyone. Like I thought it was actually very good in my when I played against a combo deck. I mean, it's a good addition, you know. Like Blush Storm is a good card in modern. Uh, north northwest probably or central Vermont what would you like to play first yes all right we got a bird the border of what there are many borders riff roth dude my neck is sore I always have neck problems I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because like this is at a poor angle for me. Like this probably should be up another like four or five inches if we're gonna get in the ergonomically correct. New Hampshire and Vermont. The only border. So you were you were staring down the Connecticut. All right, we are dredging. kind of want to just see your visions off of this bird to be honest and then play a ravine
It means like we're never gonna cast this cryptic command, but like I don't know how important that is. Whether it's like I guess I could have done more math to determine like, all right, well can I turn for a uh, whatever it is? Can I turn for Kiki Jiki? While playing the blue source there. Oh wow. I'm in trouble. Probably gonna go Snapcaster Mage Serum Visions now. Cause we just need to find the piece. What were you doing, Robbie? Were you fishing? Cathartic Reunion. Off to the races, baby. Alright, there's an Archimeba. That's it. That's kind of tame. Oh, they have three of them. Uh, okay. Hiking near Dartmouth. Look at you. You're already a New Englander. You like hiking and shit. Soon you'll be crunching on granola bars. Saying wicked. Don't need any of this garbage. I think I'm dead. Now I'm actually dead. So I go down to eight, take, yeah. We are dead on the board. Dead mass doesn't count. Come on. Come on. Come on. Negate's probably okay. Um, probably like all the removal spells suck. I can bring in this just for, just to be able to, like, oh, I think all my removal spells are pretty bad. So we're just going to go like this in order to have like a bunch, like a dispel and like to be able to handle what a lava axe. Yeah, but like. Massachusetts isn't. I'm from Mass too. I'm throwing all kinds of shade at everybody. Um, I, it appears like the blue white control deck is good. That's what I've been telling. That's what I've been told. I think it would take me a lot to play a blue white control to play a control deck in modern. Like I just don't think I would like doing that. But but the deck, like from what people tell me, the deck is good. Um. I used to think Shadow was very far ahead of Blue-White Control, but that might have changed with the new cards. I haven't played enough Modern to know that. I thought that Blue-White Control could beat up on Shadow if it was playing Supreme Verdict. Like, back in the day when it used to play, um... Like, like old Blue-White Control beat, um... Old Blue-White Control beat... Or push the Traverse Shadow deck out of the format because it played Spreading Seas, Field of Ruin, and Supreme Verdict. The Blast Zone is cool. Yeah, Blast Zone's another good one. Um just there and then like Dovin's Veto, like being uncounterable, like is obnoxious. I'm in Mulligan. We're not gonna win a Tarmogoyf game against this deck. Um, I guess I'll keep this because at least this cycles. We'll put that on top. Yeah, I would assume the Blast Zone is really nice. The fact that we can pair this Surgical with a Snapcaster might be good. I don't, I don't really... Like, yes, the new Teferi is obviously good. Like, the cards are good, but, like, I don't think... Like, what made the Blue-White good against Death Shadow was the ways you could not interact with their stuff. Like, um, I can just play this. I guess I might as well Shock because I could cycle this. But counter spell is not even gonna. I don't know. I have this like jaded view of modern that like, you print more fair cards and it's just gonna make more non-interactive crap. We should have done that in their second main phase. 
I kind of want to just hit this blood gas if we're going to be 100% honest here. And I think I'm going to because like they could play a fetch land and then that would be annoying. I don't even think Old Teferi was that good against Death Shadow. Like, jamming a five mana card against uh, Death Shadow was just, like, never a good way to beat that deck. The way to beat that deck was to play, like, just to disrupt their mana with Spreading Seas and then play uncounterable cards, like Supreme Verdict. Deck could never beat a Supreme Verdict. I can't stifle Dredge now. The problem is, like, Strix isn't going to do it. Like... In my opinion, like, you, you can print as many cool fair cards as you want in Modern. And it just, it doesn't matter. Okay, so do we want to, I don't think we want to hit anything here. Because this, this is going to be a much, this is going to be a pretty tame. Wow, I could have hit a Loam. Alright, so that comes back. So I could just snap. Now I could just snap take the Narc Amoeba. So we get rid of this. If I just snapcast or hit the Narc Amoebas, then I just don't have to worry about Prized Amalgam. They've only got three though. I can stifle the Narco, and then I can choose whether I want to do that next time. Yeah, I guess I'll just stifle it. I could just surgical their life from the loam. No, I don't think the con flag matters, right? Because, like, if I take life from the loam, con flag's going to suck. And, um... And, uh... If I take life from the loam, that's like surgical and con flag as well. And like we're gonna play at instant speed, so the con flag doesn't really matter. I think I want to surgical the loam. Like I can dredge back a bunch of dummies, but like. I mean, it's not like we. Even if they kill the bird, it's not like we're doing anything. I'm just gonna surgical the loam. Because, like, I didn't have a lot of good cards. But I cut my removal, basically. Oh, yeah. I cut, like, Lightning Bolt and... Um, Lightning Bolt and... Harvest Pyre and Flame Slash. And then brought in. What did I bring in? I brought in Surgical, Dispel, Negate, Anger the Gods. Which, like, I don't know. I can't resist. Yeah. I could use the bird for black mana. You are correct. You are 100% correct. That went over my head there. And I just, so I just took four damage for nothing. Yep. Yep, you're 100% right there. So what's our last card? Their last card is Assassin's Trophy. So 
So I just, I'm going to click them in my end step because they get to draw a card. And I don't want them to, like, bring back, like, Dredge and then bring back Prize Amalgam on their turn to be able to attack me. And we're just taking this trophy because, like, we need to, I think we have to win via, um, we want to be able to combo. So now they get to Dredge. Yeah, and they hit, so they bring back an Amalgam. But the amalgam comes back in another turn cycle, so it's not attacking us now. But I definitely, I definitely should have used. I, I'm down four points of life because I was just down. Sometimes you just forget that surgical extraction has text. That has like you can actually pay mana costs for surgical extraction. Oh, wow. It's getting chilly. All right, so we're down to five. We should be at, we should be at nine. Not gonna block, because I wanna be able to block the amalgam that comes back. So we wanna go X-Arc into Kiki Jiki. I guess I, I could just kill myself here. Yeah, I should have blocked. That was stupid. That was stupid. Yeah. X Arc and a bird. So even if we had two draw steps, we weren't, we weren't going to do it. All right, let's see if we can win two in a row. The legacy challenge starts at 11. Let me just make sure that that's, that's how that works. Yeah, it is. Um, Q's schedule limited. Oh no, it's constructed scheduled. Yeah, legacy challenge starts at 11, okay. Close this. I don't know why this is going nuts. This next fun to play, you know, like like playing mid range and modern is fun. When you get to play like mid range versus mid range and modern, like that, that's always a good time. The problem is that's just not as plentiful as it used to be. I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off. It's a little hot in here. I guess I could put an actual t-shirt on. I look like a complete mongrel. I can't figure out why that's only a mod only command. You've been in here forever, Teddy. I might as well make you a mod. What do I like to play first? Yes. I'd like to mulligan, yes. We're gonna keep this one. We've got a we have bird in the Sierra Visions, and we have half of the combo. The mid rangey aspect of this deck has been kind of feel bad because like Tarmogoyf just doesn't do it anymore. Like you can sort of defend like discard into Tarmogoyf. I'm gonna leave that on top and then just cast two spells next turn and hit a land drop. 
Like, discard spell Tarmogoyf is, like, yeah, defensible in modern, but, like, oh, man. You can change the settings of even Twitch settings, I think. Okay. Like, Tarmogoyf is just not what it used to be. Breeding pool. Serum Visions. Is this, like, the Neoform, like, the, the slower Neoform deck? All right, I'm going to go get... Steam Vents and Breeding Pool. Um, put on top, put on top. Control Z. So now we can play a tap land and we can hit a land from our opponent. We can even hold up like nimble obstructionist if we want. Sleight of hand. This has to be like a, a different take on Neoform, I think. Or it could be like a, well, no, we need, it could be like a rug. Uh, we needed that land. We needed that. Uh, this raging ravine is, is has been tough. Oh, so we're playing. It's like the Jeskai Ascendancy deck. So I should definitely get tap in a land in my opponent's upkeep. I think. No, well, now it doesn't matter. Besides just tapping them out, I guess. All right, I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to wait. Like, I think tapping them out... The problem, Here's the problem with this deck. Is it like tapping them out, even if I rip a land, I can't kill them. Oh, I should have just played Goyf. I'm sorry. I zoned out. I zoned out. I thought this was cycling two. And just went over the, went over the top of my head. Okay. And I can like I guess I can stifle the first trigger. Discard the card. Alright, I'm gonna stifle this one. Yeah, I definitely should have played Tarmac Wife for sure. Just zoned out there. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of the untapped one. So maybe if they don't have because like they, they need blue mana and this is gonna make blue mana which might slow them down. Yeah, playing Tarma Wife would have been important there. For sure. If we don't find a land, I'm just gonna play Goyf. Nox Survival Serum Visions. We still don't get the Serum Visions back unless they have another cantrip. I feel like he's actually F6, yeah. My opponent's going off. Serum Visions. I just had to hope they brick. Tarmogoyf should be decent in this matchup. If we can just find a time to deploy it. We went bottom bottom, which is good. Glittering Wish. But we're just kind of in a holding pattern at the moment. Oh, somebody was watching the mocks yesterday. So what did they get? They got failure to comply. Return target spell that's on our hand. Aftermath. Oh, that's bad. All right, I'll look at it after the stream, Teddy. I actually don't think, because like this is going to return a spell, so it's just defense.
I mean, I guess I'm just going to go counterbalance. Oh, I should have gotten a red land. They're going to they're going to effectively remand my cryptic. Yep. Yeah, we just we're 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 floundering. Not a lot we can do. I saw your message. I'll I'll check it out after I finish streaming, Teddy. We're getting another ascendancy. So if they have a noxious revival, then like, oh, they don't even need it. Yeah, we're just super dead. Probably dead this turn because they actually just make mana. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop this. I don't. I don't need to sit through this because, like, they're now making mana. What is what is U do What does U W U mean? I see that meme everywhere, and I just I don't understand it. Okay, we probably don't want this cards. We I'm mean, interested in. I'm interested in, in sphere. Dispel, negate, surgical, E E. And again, this is just another one where we probably can just take out all our removal. And we can leave in one more obstructionist. The other cards don't really matter, I don't think. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm playing on uh, Binding Mind Blitz Troll, Trench Retrieve. I don't have one, but you can check out. Uh, I, know, I know Brandon Dalloway talks about the deck a lot on Twitter. That's what you think it is? Okay. Um, I think Brandon Dalloway talks about it on Twitter, so you can check that out. Unexpected surprise. Okay. All right, I would like to play first. All right, I would like to play my Sulphur Falls. No, I would not like to play it because it's on a Spire Bluff Canal. Let's go get other Steam Vents. No, I should have just played Raging Ravine because then I can have Mana Leak into Exarch. But I guess it's not even that bad playing a turn off because you can't Splinter Twin on four. Put on the bottom. Negate's okay. So, like, again, I'm playing a turn off, which I probably messed up. Like, I, this, this, this Raging Ravine has cost me a couple times in this league. Oh, I shouldn't. They have Birds of Paradise. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Oh no. I'm just going to counter this. I think this means I need a land. Okay. Maybe that was loose. Maybe that was loose, my goose. All right, they didn't need a land, so I wish I had my counter spell back. All right, just gonna play this. Oh, yeah, I should let that go because then I can go like counter spell. Because now if I draw a land, I'm okay. But I could have gone counter spell this, hold up counter spell next play at time. This rate, if this raging ravine wasn't a. Now this ravine doesn't matter right now. I mean, it sort of does, because like I would love to be able to play even million click. Now, if we had a Vendillion click, we'd be in good shape. So this ravine is costing me. So maybe I should have played the ravine on turn one. Hey, Phil, what are you doing? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let this go, I guess. 
Because, like, I could negate this, and then I'm tapped out. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop that. Hey. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Okay. Yeah, so if I would have, like, this ravine is a problem, was a problem here, but I could have played in such a way to make it a little better. Yeah, and we're just dead. Oh wow, we're not dead. Holy shit. I can't really, the problem is like, I, ju I just need to dig to lands at this point. Because them just casting spells is really bad. So I'm just going to Serum Visions. I'm going to find lands and hope to go for it as quick as possible. Let's put this on the bottom. Put this on top. I do not think we are going to make it through this turn. Wow. All right, I'm just going to target myself because I need to cycle into what I'm looking for. And I think I'm just gonna ditch this negate. I could have just Snapcaster too, but Snapcaster Cryptic might do something for me. Oh, okay. Like the, the, oh, so it's like a face. Like those are the eyes. Okay. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. I'm just gonna bounce one of these ascendancies and draw a card. I guess I could also just get this into, I'm just gonna get this into play. I'm gonna tap like a bird. That was Phil. Could tap the ascendancy for the memes. Should have played the next calling turn. That was not correct. Imagine if we had lightning bolt in our deck. This game, this game would have been much easier. All right. How do I do this? Count, does counter bounce do me anything or does counter draw to hit another counter spell worth it? I'm going to go counter. Do I get anything out of bouncing these? I guess I just sink my opponent's mana. I could counter bounce one of these. I guess I should let all the triggers resolve. Yeah, I'm just gonna counter draw. My opponent's making 72 mana. Yeah. Swan song. All right, hit that F6 button. Yeah. Teferi, Time Raveler. Teferi.
Yeah, I, I, I came to that conclusion. I was just like trying to see if there's any way to maneuver it. A way around it. All right, bounce that. Didn't bounce my X-Art. Whoa. Oh, I'm just dead. Okay. I was like, I'm not dead. And then I was like, oh, they can just attack. All right. Let's go back to the deck list here. Nope, not there. Um, I didn't play this, you know, necessarily super crisply. Well, I wanted to, I wanted to wait because it might have informed his decision. Like, if I had a cryptic first, he could have gone like, okay, how do I rebuild? If I let the triggers resolve, then maybe he like can't, he's, he's really based on that working. You know, like, no matter what, like, my opponent putting spells in the stack was really bad for me there. You know, like. I didn't know if I explained that well. So as long as we're on the same page. Like, because crypticking as early as possible informs your opponent about what they're looking for. And at that point, with them getting, like, them just putting spells on the stack is what matters. So I think my best way out of that was by hoping that they sculpted a hand that revolved around that Glittering Wish resolved and then countering the Glittering Wish. Yes, but like if, if I don't counter it, then maybe they don't get counter spells, you know? Like, like I can't, like... I basically, I basically can't win at that point. At that point in time, I believe I can't win. Because if my opponent puts spells in the stack, they don't even have to resolve it. You know? So I was just hoping that they sculpted a hand that based around Glittering Wish resolving. And that if I countered it, it bought me another turn. That was, that was basically all that I was looking for. So, um... I did kind of like the Birds of Paradise in this deck. Like, the fact that it gets you to Kiki-Jiki faster is kind of nice. Um, like, because, because like, Kiki-Jiki is slow, and that's why this deck is not Splinter Twin. Um, so the Birds were nice. The Tarmogoyfs were not that great. And I think that's just, like, uh, like Modern has kind of moved... Yeah, I was dead regardless. I was just hoping to get lucky. I think that Modern has moved past Tarmogoyf. Unless you're playing Jund. And even that is like a little sketchy. Because you can play discard spells into your Tarmogoyf. Just, you know, so... Like, as we saw, we played against Dredge. And we played against even Infect. And we played against Tron. And then we, right there, Tarmogoyf was good in the last matchup. So Tarmogoyf was good there. It just, Tarm Tarmogoyf is not where Modern is right now, I think, unless you're casting Thoughtseize on turn one. Um, I think you want, I think you want more Pestermites and more Kiki-Jikis because another way this deck used to cheese out wins is just attack. And like, with, you know, you get three, three, one flyers, you got Bolt, Snap, Bolt. Like, I think you want four Snapcaster Mages. Like, I think this should go. I don't hate the Birds of Paradise. And I think that the sideboard needs a little bit of work. I think this would be deck would just be better as like blue red or blue red with birds and then some cool green sideboard cards. That's what I think. But we're gonna call it a day on this deck.